right. Anybody remember the name of the book we're reading this week? Do you remember? Ryan, what is our book called this week? Coyote, good. It's called Coyote, a trickster tale from the American Southwest. And yesterday I asked you to predict what the book would be about. We had Luke said it's about a coyote trying to get food. Ryan said it's about what they look like. That was his prediction. Elijah agreed with Ryan and Eli thinks the book is about the coyotes running around. So I'm gonna read the first part of the book, and then we'll stop and make another prediction for the rest of the book. Okay? Coyote, a trickster tale from the American Southwest. That's our title page. Here we go. Coyote. Blue Coyote. He was going along following his nose. He had a nose for trouble. Coyote stuck his nose into Badger's hole, but he got bitten. Coyote wanted to have a flaming red head like a woodpecker, but his fur caught fire. Coyote went looking for snake, but only found trouble. Coyote was always in trouble. Coyote came to a place where earth meets sky. He heard laughing and singing. He went up to take a look. Coyote saw a flock of crows. They were chanting. They were dancing. Then the birds spread their wings and they flew through the air and circled the canyon. If only I could fly, said Coyote. I would be the greatest coyote in all the world. Coyote called to the crows. Let me join you, he said. This foolish coyote wants to be like us, Old Man Crow said to his flock. Let's have some fun with him. Old Man Crow turned one eye towards Coyote. You may dance with us, he said. Thank you, thank you, said Coyote but I want to fly too. Maybe you can, said Old Man Crow. Old Man Crow plucked a feather from his left wing. He told his flock to do the same. They stuck the feathers in Coyote. The crows chuckled. You are ready to fly, said Old Man Crow. The birds began their slow, steady chant. They hopped from one foot to the other. Coyote joined in the dance. Even though he got out of step and sang out of tune, he was very proud of himself. And this is where we're going to stop for today. So, tell me, were any of our predictions correct? Luke, what do you think? Is it about a coyote trying to get food yet? Not yet. But we still have half a book to read, so maybe it'll come in at the end. We'll keep it up then. Ryan, do we see anything about in this book so far about what a coyote looks like? Yes. A little bit. What does this coyote look like? He does look like a dog. Did you learn about that on Pebble Go? Yeah. Yes. But what about his color? Is it the same as what Pebble Go said? No. No. What color is this coyote? It's Let's see, Brindley, can you tell me what color this coyote is? Blue, blue. yes, he's blue. And that seems like a weird color for a coyote. All right. 
And Eli, you're still here. You predicted that the coyote would be running around. Is he running around in this book? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. He did run around a little bit so far. He went and visited all those animals. The badger and the woodpecker and the snake. Getting himself in trouble. So, we've got some great predictions, but now I want to hear what do you think might happen at the end of this book? We go back. The coyote found the crows and he wanted to fly. The crows gave him a wing from their left wing, a feather from their left wing. And now we're getting ready to fly. So what do you think is going to happen next? Ella. They were going to be friends. Ooh, I'm going to write that down. Ella says they will be friends. All right. What else do you think will happen, Ryan? Coyotes will fall. Oh. The coyote will fall. All right. Do you have any other predictions? Anyone else want to tell me what they think will happen? Eli? What do you think will happen? He'll start to fly. You think he will fly? Okay. He will fly. Yeah. Very good. That's a nice prediction. Anyone else want to give me a prediction? Of what do you think will happen to the coyote? Oh. Okay. Good. So we got a few predictions. And we got our predictions from last week as well. We will... Stop here for today. All right. Tomorrow we'll read the second half of the story. And we'll see if any of these predictions come true. Perfect. All right, guys. That's it for today.